A New York City landlord is the victim of murder and kidnapping, and now his family says he has also become the target of character assassination after this cover of the New York Post came out Sunday. You see the headline? Who didn't want him dead? Sits besides the face of 40, excuse me, 39 year old Menachem Stark. Stark is the father of seven, and New York police have released surveillance video of his kidnapping. Watch closely here in the circle. Uh, it took at least two minutes for his kidnappers to force him into a van. This was Thursday outside of his office in Brooklyn. Friday, investigators found Stark's burned body in a Long Island jumpster. And now the search is on for this van. As police try to learn more about how he died, the Post really did some digging into how the landlord lived. And when you read this article, it quotes a tenant organizer saying this about Stark. Quote, he pretty much ripped off the whole building. Stark's family and supporters say the Post headline glorifies Stark's murder. They have just held a news conference declaring a $25,000 reward for his killer. Nobody can describe the pain. And let me say, the arrest is not going to erase the anguish of the family, of the community, of any decent human being who could see, who can hear or saw the picture of a lovely family, a blossoming tree that has been cut to its branches. Children do not have a father. A wife does not have a husband. Why? What did he do? Hmm. Joining me now, New York City Councilman Stephen Levin from New York, also with the senior media correspondent, Brian Stelter. So welcome to both of you. And Brian, let me just begin with you. Let's take the story a step beyond this headline here. Tell me what we know, what happened. Well, the, the New York Post did some great reporting, uh, you know, putting aside the headline for a minute, some great reporting about this man. They quoted a number of sources saying that he owed people money and that he had made a lot of enemies, uh, you know, angry tenants in his buildings and things like that. But that headline, I think, went too far hmm. and actually distracted from the news. Now, the New York Post is defending it. Well, let me read the statement the Post put out because of all these complaints. They said the Post does not say Mr. Stark deserved to die, but our reporting showed that he had many enemies which may have led to the commission of this terrible crime. You know, Brooke, I just personally think the headline distracted from the good reporting they did. Uh, yeah. There's been so much coverage on this specific investigation here, all the news coming out, not just on the, the post headline, but, but right. some, some, some additional reporting. Um, do you think it's helping the investigation, the fact that this, there's such a spotlight on this story there in Brooklyn? Well, I in think Brooklyn? it probably is. I think it probably is helping with the investigation. You know, the New York Post even wrote a story about all the outrage about the New York Post story, right. <laughs> about the New York right. Post headline, which, which is a kind of clever thing for tabloid, a tabloid newspaper to do. We also saw the other competing tabloid here in the city, the New York Daily News, take some shot at the, uh, shots at the Post. So even though there's this media angle here, it also... I, I think puts more attention on to the investigation.